To change directions while walking, we move our joints to turn our feet. In a car, a comparable process is made possible using the steering system. The Ackerman steering principle is an important type of geometric arrangement in the steering system. When a car turns, the inner wheel travels in a smaller radius than the outer wheel, resulting in an unsuitable and stressed toe angle. The Ackerman steering solves this problem by allowing both left and right wheels to travel in concentric circles. There are two types of steering systems, the recirculating ball and the rack and pinion. In the recirculating ball design, worm gear is filled with metal ball bearings. The nut covers the balls and engages the sector shaft. In the rack and pinion steering, the circular pinion gear on the end of the steering shaft engages the teeth or a flat bar rack, moving the tie rod horizontally. To operate a car safely and comfortably, the steering is weighed down during fast speeds to prevent sudden movements. For maneuvers like parking, it must allow large movements with little effort. These adjustments are made possible by changing gear ratios depending on the position of the pinion. Power steering assists the driver in steering an automobile. This mechanism is typically powered by the engine or an electric motor. Driven by the engine, the rotary vein pump generates the supplemental hydraulic pressure that is applied to the steering gears. In small vehicles, sometimes the electric motor replaces the hydraulic pump in the steering system.